Strange coming back here now, like this. A place I used as a crutch to get through the tough times when I found myself suddenly alone again. Funny how history repeats itself. Not tonight. And I was the first time he used a gun. This guy relies on close proximity. So remember, if you approach him, it gives him power. But, sir, if we can't approach him, how do we arrest him? Remember your training. He's a wanted cop killer now. You can shoot him on sight. Bell Killer War. All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're continuing right where we left off. So let's see here. Should see if there are any new leads in the mur my murder case. Eleven clues. Holy crap. What is that? Examine details. Suspects line up. Athletic Caucasian, like color blue. Identifying marks attire, always seen in mask and hood. Bell killer suspects. Please think the bell killer has blue eyes. I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't get a good look at his face when I confronted him. But I think, um... No, wasn't it that woman? Oh, damn it. Wasn't there a woman, uh, one of the witnesses from that we possessed at some point? Didn't she say that he had blue eyes? Didn't someone say that they thought he had blue eyes? No, I don't know. All right. Cops, gotta stick together. Gotta have faith in the department. Well, you're useless. Poltergeist? Why would I poltergeist that? I, I, wow. I forgot that I could just walk through that desk. Hasn't screwed up yet, but he will. Gotta remind myself, this killer's flesh and blood like all of us. You're freakishly strong, though. A new, any new leads in my case? Body arrived at morgue, 814. Cause of death, pending autopsy. Preliminary forensics. No fibers, no suspect blood, DNA, no prints left at scene. Jeez. Okay. Missing. Update to reflect recent developments. Stuart. Join Cassandra Foster. Stuart wanted something about this updated because of recent developments. What happened? Hmm. Fact. Victims. Links between murders. Victims on the board were young women with no signs of sexual assault. Not sexual assault. So no sexual assault. Okay. Murder locations. Map of the Bell Killer murders. Bell Killer murders have occurred all over town in random locations. There doesn't appear to be a common link to where they happen. Okay, so that's all the specs. Hmm. No, sir. I'd be very interested to know that myself. Bell symbol research. Yes, sir. Symbol similarity. Is this connected to the bell killer symbol? In... No, I'm Guessed. sorry, what? <laughs> we should try what? Killer symbol. Crime scene signature. The symbol of the bell killer leaves at his murder scenes. What does a bell have to do with his murders? Okay, let's possess you. No. No suspects at this point, sir. This boils down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronan to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight, and you have no suspects. And no leads? Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints, fibers, or anything else traceable. And if you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Everyone knows he was your brother-in-law, so you don't need to remind us. But you lose your cool again, and more of your own will join Ronan. You understand me? You find this guy. Or a clue that leads to his doorstep. Now! That's an order. 
Yeah, understood. Rex's frustration. Rex is frustrated by the lack of evidence or progress in my murder. I don't blame him. The fact that literally nothing was found. Like, that's insane. Okay. Um... Okay, we're gonna peek again. Okay, so now, body arrived at morgue, 814. Cause of death, pending autopsy, preliminary forensics, no fibers. That's what I find interesting. This killer is so skilled at this point, he never would leave anything traceable behind. Police didn't find lead. One of the best sightings of the bell killer, and they didn't find anything, any traceable evidence or leads. Okay, so what else am I missing? So if there are any new leads in my murder case. Um, let's do this and see if this does anything. Okay, that did literally nothing. I can't do nothing for the, with the computer. Anything else over here? He was pointless and useless. Wish I could say that's the weirdest thing I saw. Ah. Oh, what the hell? Tops report. Cause of death: ligature str strangulation, trauma to neck and larynx via garroting, severe abrasions to wrists and ankles, most likely the result of being bound by hemp rope, consistent with all other bell killer murders, ruling homicide. I don't know the victim deaths. Oh, damn it. I don't know victim. All of the victims were bound, tied up before their murder. Ah, now we can look at the computer. Influence. Wait. Oh, the missing persons. We gotta find that info about the missing tenants. Missing persons file update. He just updated the file on this missing person, missing tenants. It might have information that's useful. Peak. Cassandra Foster, 42, resident of Regal Apartments, professional psychic medium and criminal profiler. Occasional consultant for the Salem Police Department, last seen by neighbors two weeks ago, no criminal record. Joy Foster. Legal guardian is her mother, Cassandra Foster. Whereabouts of her father are unknown, dropped out of Salem school system two years ago. Ran away from home, has a number of misdemeanor convictions, juvenile, trespassing, burglary, and breaking and entering. Amber alert for Joy Foster cancelled in custody. Okay, so she's here. That's what that's what the update was. Wait, right? So I was supposed to click on it? Aha ah, ha, ha, that's why. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, what? I thought I'd click it. Oh, that's so stupid. I knew this was what the relevant information. I didn't realize I was clicking on individual paragraphs. I thought I was just clicking on her information. Well, fuck. Okay, I, I, I was. I got ahead of myself. The Amber Alert was canceled because the witness is in custody here at the station. She would probably still be in the holding cells. Conclude investigation. I think I've learned all I can here. I better go find that witness. <laughs> in other words, we better go find Joy. Okay, investigate the war room. Um, now, find the witness in the holding cells. Where's the holding cell, though? Witness description of clothing. When it said she saw a man in dark hoodie matching the public description of dark pants and shoes, did not get a look at his face. Damn it, I keep hitting that way too many times. Okay, that's the bathrooms. What is this? Huh. Hey, Baxter. You still relying on that wizard lady? You know I ain't into all that spiritual crap. But she's onto something. Results are results. You find a more reliable source, you let me know. 
Baxter's relationship with the witness's mother. Baxter's still working on the Bell Killer case, even though he's been reassigned. Oh, wow. That's why he knew her. Oh, what the hell? What did I just do? Okay, I don't know what I just did. That was weird. And now I thought the holding cells would be upstairs. Oh, what's that? Baxter tried to threaten me. Baxter thought he could blackmail me with my past, as if my past hasn't already done all the damage it could. Why would you want to blackmail me? Like, why would you black try to blackmail Ronan with his past? Like, I'm sure most people in like, the police department knew about his past. Like, that's so stupid. Like, I'm sorry, Baxter, but you're a bit of an idiot. Dose X. That, that's amazing. Oh, all, they all got freaking do sex on their screens. That's funny. All right. You know, buddy, that sickness she carried in her brain, you made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. Rex is grateful for Ronan, to Ronan for helping Julia through her mental illness. Aw, that's awesome. Ronan gets his badge. Big day. I never thought this would happen between Ronan actually going through with this and Rex pulling off all, pulling off the paperwork and managing Ronan's past. So much could go wrong, but it happened. And my man has a badge now. Looks good on him. And he loves it. I think his swagger just got even bigger. Gotta love a guy in uniform. Aw. Like I said, it's just so freaking wholesome seeing all of her like little notes about how much she loves him. So well, the law always knew there had been trouble, but I didn't know his, his official arrest record was that extensive. Much worse than I thought. Felony after felony. Going back to childhood, it looks like his life is already ruined. How can I join my life with him? Hey, but you did. Playing close cop. It's quite a trick Rex pulled advancing Ronan to detective without making him spend much time as a beat cop. He convinced Captain and the Commissioner that Ronan's street smarts would make him most effective as a plain clothes cop. Ronan was very relieved. They weren't wrong. From what I can tell, like, he... No, it worked. You know, it seems like he had some people in the department didn't really care for him, but other than that, it seemed like, um, for the most part, being a plain, plain clothes cop like that is pretty much exactly what he was suited for. Robinson's got the girl in the room right now. Think she knows anything? I will find out. Robinson seems like a gentleman, but he's got his methods of persuasion. Yeah, he's a smooth one. My money's on him. Oh, but she's pretty smart. I don't know how she could be related to this. Wonder if that girl knows something. Oh, she knows plenty. Man, interrogation is harder than it looks. Better stick with what I know. <laughs> Roman should have waited. There were reasons for going by the book. That's not creepy at all. Oh, what's up, buddy? What were we in for? It's too complicated to get into. Let's just say that I wasn't about to let some judge decide how to spend the rest of my life. That's my choice, so I made it. Either way, no, it doesn't matter now, does it? If mm. it didn't, you wouldn't still be here. Maybe I can help? Mm. Nah, I appreciate it, but you know, it, it looks like you got your own shit to deal with. I'll figure it out on my own. Always have. Thanks, though. All right, bud, fair enough, fair enough. Damn. Gotta get out of here. There's a ghost right over there in that cell. Don't you have some other place you can keep me? <laughs> what? You too? There's another one. 
tell me you can't see this guy. He he's right there. <laughs> Only I could tell my younger self what I would become. My first crimes. Never forget the rush of taking down my first mark. He didn't see it coming, and I didn't see it coming when my dad held down my arm with a steely grin on his face and a tattooed gun in his hand, ready to give me a memento so the crime would be impossible to forget. Isn't a spiderweb tattoo usually a symbol for time spent in prison? Why would this tattoo have two spiders in the web? He got his own tattoo wrong. It's just a tattoo. That's all I know. <laughs> Focus on your work. <laughs> and this raven is like chained to... Are those prison bars? We don't pay you to analyze tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Why is the old guy so harsh? I've, well, but tattoos might tell us something. They're gonna tell you that I've done a lot of shit. In here, son. Don't forget that. A little respect would be nice. Med school doesn't teach you everything. I think I'm pretty for that, for seeing your own corpse. I never felt so much like an empty cell until now. Empty shell until now. Gotta look like a criminal. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, but seriously, where the hell, like, I must have taken a completely freaking wrong turn. Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! All right, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? <sighs> yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. Baxter. She Baxter. Called him bastard. Baxter. All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me. I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Not for long. Can I poltergeist? I think. Free the witness from the holding cell. I can, but you guys hit me. Nice. Let's go, girl. Thing of four detectives officers. Free the witness from the holding cell. Oh, I never mind. I had to talk to her. Follow yep. my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. He's okay. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. <laughs> Stay low, or they'll see you. Start the cops and use and usher the witness to the door. Will this work? It does we need work. to hurry. Everything here is so old and busted. Noise. Go for it. That's not supposed to happen. Oh man, talk about a mess. I honestly, the paper's not that bad. The, the freaking like the coffee, that sucks. Some poor bastard's gonna have to mop all that crap up. Can I distract you with? There's just these two, but I feel like if I did that, oh, I don't know. We'll we'll see. I feel like he would easily see her. Like, how do you not see her? Nice job, kid. We're almost there. I don't need a cheerleader. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? You got yourself killed, Mr. 
bullet holes. Uh, hey, kid. These things. Uh, I, I can't get across there. You're gonna have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? Or? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? <laughs> Look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. Don't read any of my thoughts. Or, or think anything creepy. Oh, if this doesn't make us even. I want you none. Just give me a cross. It makes me feel so much better that she can actually see that shit, though. Hey, man. Get out. I like how he's, like, peeking. Like, why are you peeking? You don't need to be the one peeking. They're not gonna see you, buddy. Okay. Freaky. Really? Only one? Don't stop. How did he not see her? It was close. Where is everybody? Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. Okay, I've already gone to all, through all of that, so let's come over here. I've already gone through like a bunch of this stuff. Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh, the desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? What is making those sounds? It's a mugshot. A mugshot? I thought Rex suppressed this. Looks like someone was hiding your real rap sheet. Now I have proof. He never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush, I'm sure the book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. Just need to figure this out. Hey, look, nice shotgun. Need to find the witness's mother's book. Criminal record. Rex prevented Baxter from blackmailing me and using my criminal record against me. Okay, never mind. I thought I was going to say that, that there was a message, but I guess not. Okay. Um, what is that thing? Bragging. Oh, bowling champion. That's what Baxter does in his free time, huh? I mean, that's not that bad, though. What the hell is that? Ticket out of... Out of town? Baxter's ticket. Why did Baxter leave town? I wonder if he... I wonder if he's going after the mother. of 1692, Salem's disgrace. Baxter's been reading about Salem's history. It doesn't seem like something he would care about. Baxter's really freaking interested in the Bell case. The form of each murder changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random and related. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him, but he's my only chance. Insights on the killer's motives. A pattern of behavior in the killer's motives. The police are not seen as the focus of Joy's mother. 
but she's having trouble convincing them to take it seriously. Which is... So that that's why Baxter's so interested in because he can see it. He can see the pattern. Promotion commendation. Man, he was so proud of making detective. Serve him. Serve and protect. Baxter graduated from the academy two years before I did. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't so far from what I can tell with Baxter, I don't think he's a bad guy. I think he's just a dick. New message. Someone left a message on Baxter's voicemail. Hang on, I'm, I'm, before I talk to her, I'm gonna see if there's anything else. I don't think there is, but yeah, no, okay. Hey, can you check that voicemail message? Okay. Baxter, I told you you're off the case. Now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office now. I need to take him off. Baxter's still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good. Baxter probably hit the book somewhere in his office because Rex was still looking for it. Okay. Now the question is where? Need to find the witness's mother's book. Is there anything weird? Wait, what's this? What's this? What's this? What has that mark on the wall? God, see, I was looking for something like that. It's exact same shape as that freaking shelf. It matches the gun rack. I'm pretty sure shadow drawn writing. It's a stain. It's an imprint. It's imprinted. It fucking swings open. Gun rack. The gun rack actually opens on hinges. Like it's covering a secret compartment or area. Must be a latch Strange latch just secures the gun rack on one side. That's not normal. It opens inward. I better tell the girl. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Bam. Yes, this is it. Oh, please tell me you understand what all these symbols are. Yeah, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh God, that Why means she write it like was that? after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. He's gonna notice something. What do you Wait, see? What is that? The mysterious gallows museum. museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go. Oh, great, 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 great. Gala Invitation, the Salem's History Museum, Gala Flyer. What would this be in her mother's book? Health the witness escape from the police station. Speed up, girl. Go, go, Joy, go. Why is she hiding? It's because of these guys? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I bet you I gotta freaking talk to her, don't I? Damn it! Hold up, hold up. I need to make sure the coast is clear. Rex. Who's that? 
cop you need to avoid. All right, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there, but wait for my signal. Hey, LT, hold up. You know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Wow, what is this place? The all killer war room. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so. See hey, ya. If you keep trying to do this alone, you're gonna get yourself killed. How would I just leave it as. Oh, you won. <laughs> Help the witness escape. Half the truths and whole lies. New achievement. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, next objective. What is it? They can tell me. I'm waiting for it to say something. Okay. Apparently not. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go and end it right there, guys. And I'm gonna immediately just start going right into the next one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.